The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, humankind's most recent and invaluable tool, connects us across incomprehensible distances capturing light that has traveled for over 13 billion years. This light, however, tells us more than a story of time, it reveals the evolution of our universe shaped and expanded by its continuous growth. As we peer back at the most distant galaxies, we're essentially witnessing an ancient era moving ever closer to the inception of the universe. The Big Bang The theory of the Big Bang, a cornerstone of modern cosmology, strongly suggests that our universe had a specific beginning and is finite in age. Yet from its inception, this singular cosmic event has faced skepticism and challenges to its validity continue even within mainstream cosmology. For decades, the Big Bang theory held firm, particularly after the discovery of the cosmic microwave background, CMB, in the 1960s. This foundational radiation, a faint pervasive hum across the universe, aligned perfectly with predictions of a hot, dense early universe. However, recent observations by the JWST have cast doubt and raised new questions about the Big Bang's authenticity. Through the telescope's astounding clarity, NASA's time machine has revealed clusters of ancient galaxies far larger and more numerous than expected, challenging our understanding of the universe's earliest stages. As the JWST peers back to the formation of the first galaxies, it provides humankind with a remarkable view one that the Hubble Space Telescope could not fully achieve. Hubble simply lacked the sensitivity to detect the incredibly faint, red-shifted light of these early galaxies. Thanks to JWST's advanced capabilities, we are now looking almost as far back as time itself. Yet as we venture into this uncharted territory, we encounter an age-old mystery. How did the first galaxies truly form? And does the universe as we understand it have a single definitive beginning? In its earliest state, the universe was a hot dark point so dense that light itself could not freely travel. This means that no matter how powerful our telescopes, we cannot observe beyond a certain point using light. However, we are not limited to light alone. New technological advancements are paving the way for the detection of gravitational waves from colliding black holes, offering a potential avenue to peer into the universe's early stages, perhaps even into the singularity we call the Big Bang. The foundations of the Big Bang theory trace back to the 1920s and 1930s when astronomers first noticed that distant galaxies appeared to be moving away from us. This discovery, combined with Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, laid the groundwork for the Big Bang model. Einstein's equations predicted that a static universe would be unstable requiring either contraction or expansion. Observing this expansion suggested that galaxies must have been closer together in the distant past, implying a fiery beginning for the universe. The expansion of the universe has significant implications. Not only do objects move farther apart, but the light emitted from them stretches shifting to longer wavelengths over time. This redshift indicates that the universe has been cooling as it ages. By rewinding this cosmic expansion, we reach a point where everything would have been so hot and dense that neutral atoms could not exist leading to a uniform searing glow. This glow was confirmed in 1964 when astronomers Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson accidentally discovered the cosmic microwave background, a pervasive radiation field echoing the universe's fiery origin. Yet, as the JWST pushes the boundaries of cosmic observation, researchers are discovering features in the early universe that strain the conventional Big Bang narrative. Enormous luminous galaxies are being observed where none should exist challenging existing assumptions. At the core of the Big Bang theory lies a singularity a point of infinite density and temperature where the laws of physics break down. This is where space-time and matter as we know them began. However, this concept, while powerful, has its limitations. Envision trying to describe the entirety of existence compressed into a single infinitely dense point. This is where our understanding falters. Despite numerous aspects of the Big Bang model being supported by observations and experiments, this initial singularity remains an enigma. Could the universe have had a different kind of beginning? Science has made strides in replicating similar conditions to those of the early universe. For instance, quark-gluon plasma has been recreated in laboratories and matter-antimatter pairs have been produced to align with early universe predictions. These experiments, along with analysis of the cosmic microwave background's fluctuations, have provided a robust picture of the universe's evolution. However, significant mysteries remain. One such mystery is the universe's uniformity in temperature. According to conventional models, regions of space should exhibit varying temperatures since they could not have exchanged energy or information. 
Additionally, we would expect to find remnants of the universe's hottest moments such as magnetic monopoles or spatial anomalies, yet none have been observed. These discrepancies open the door to alternative possibilities. One explanation is cosmic inflation, a rapid expansion hypothesized to have occurred before the Big Bang itself. In 1979, physicist Alan Goose proposed this revolutionary idea suggesting that inflation could explain the universe's flatness homogeneity and isotropy. However, even inflation fails to account for every anomaly. Recent JWST observations have revealed surprisingly large galaxies from the universe's early stages suggesting a faster formation rate than inflation alone can explain. These discoveries challenge key assumptions about galaxy formation and evolution prompting scientists to revisit their models. Alternative theories to the Big Bang such as the steady-state theory multiverse hypothesis and simulation hypothesis offer intriguing perspectives on cosmic origins. Each challenges conventional thinking, yet none have supplanted the Big Bang as the prevailing model. As the JWST continues its mission, it is poised to revolutionize our understanding of the universe, uncovering secrets that could reshape the foundations of cosmology. Its unparalleled sensitivity is helping scientists refine their knowledge of galaxy formation, chemical evolution, and the nature of space and time itself. The discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, mark the beginning of a new era in cosmology challenging long-held assumptions and inspiring deeper inquiries into the origins and evolution of the cosmos. As the telescope delves further into the mysteries of the universe, its findings are expected to reshape several foundational areas of study. The Role of Supermassive Black Holes One of the most intriguing puzzles revealed by the JWST is the possible role of supermassive black holes in early galaxy formation. These enigmatic objects with masses millions or even billions of times greater than the Sun may have served as gravitational anchors accelerating the clumping of matter into massive galaxies. The energy released by these black holes could have triggered bursts of star formation, adding complexity to the development of these galaxies. If supermassive black holes formed early in the universe's history, they might have influenced not only the size and structure of early galaxies, but also the distribution of elements. The JWST's observations of high metallicity in some of the earliest galaxies suggest that stars may have rapidly enriched their surroundings with heavier elements through supernova explosions challenging previous notions of a chemically primitive early universe. Dark Matter and Dark Energy Another cornerstone of modern cosmology is the role of dark matter and dark energy. Dark matter, an invisible and elusive substance, is believed to account for 85% of the universe's mass, providing the scaffolding for galaxy formation. Dark energy, on the other hand, is thought to drive the accelerated expansion of the universe. However, JWST observations have introduced complexities to these models. Galaxies in the early universe appear to be forming in ways that do not align neatly with current theories of dark matter distribution. For example, galaxies observed within the first 500 million years after the Big Bang seem more massive and organized than expected suggesting that our understanding of dark matter's role in shaping the cosmos may need revision. Similarly, the concept of early dark energy, a temporary increase in dark energy density, has been proposed as a possible explanation for the rapid formation of galaxies observed by the JWST. While still speculative, this idea could offer new insights into the interplay between dark matter dark energy and the evolution of the universe. Refining Cosmological Models The JWST's unprecedented ability to observe distant galaxies with high precision has also shed light on the limits of current cosmological models. Many of the assumptions underlying these models, such as the rate of star formation in the early universe, are now being questioned. For instance, astronomers previously believed that galaxy formation was a gradual process taking billions of years to produce large complex structures like the Milky Way. However, the JWST has identified galaxies that appear fully formed much earlier than anticipated, prompting a re-evaluation of the timeline for galaxy evolution. Astrophysicist Erica Nelson and her team have noted that these early galaxies may contain masses comparable to today's largest galaxies. This rapid development challenges our understanding of how galaxies accumulate matter, suggesting that previously unknown processes may be at play. The Origins of Cosmic Structure The JWST is not only providing insights into individual galaxies, but also revealing the large-scale structure of the universe. The distribution of galaxies, the presence of galaxy clusters, and the cosmic web, all of these features reflect the underlying physics that shape the universe. One of the most significant discoveries involves the cosmic dawn, the period when the first stars and galaxies illuminated the universe. By studying the light from this era, 
the JWST is helping scientists piece together how matter transitioned from a uniform state to the complex structures we observe today. Exploring Alternative Theories While the Big Bang Theory remains the prevailing explanation for the universe's origins, alternative hypotheses continue to gain attention especially in light of the JWST's findings. Some of these theories include The Cyclic Universe suggests that the universe undergoes endless cycles of expansion and contraction with each cycle beginning with a Big Bang-like event. The holographic universe proposes that the three-dimensional universe we observe is a projection of information encoded on a distant two-dimensional surface. Quantum gravity models explore how quantum mechanics and general relativity interact at the Planck scale, potentially offering a new understanding of the universe's beginning. The future of cosmic exploration as the JWST continues its mission scientists are preparing to analyze even more detailed spectroscopic data which will provide insights into the chemical composition temperature and motion of distant galaxies. These data will allow researchers to refine models of galaxy formation and explore the conditions under which the first stars ignited. Additionally, upcoming missions like the European Space Agency's Euclid Telescope and NASA's Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope will complement the JWST's findings focusing on dark matter dark energy and the large scale structure of the universe. Together, these observatories promise to deepen our understanding of the cosmos. Conclusion The James Webb Space Telescope has already revolutionized our view of the universe, revealing a cosmos far more dynamic and complex than previously imagined. Its discoveries challenge the limits of human knowledge, prompting new questions about the nature of space-time and matter.